thank you for choosing the Studio Series SL300 USB condenser microphone. This is the perfect microphone for any type of vocal work or instrument recording. And in this quick start short video guide, we'll show you how to set it up on your Mac or PC. When you purchase the SL300 microphone, you'll receive it in a beautiful premium carry case. This is included with every microphone. Open up the box and you'll see the Studio Series accessories. First up is the high quality shock mount. A shock mount is a great device which prevents knocks and vibrations getting through to your microphone. It also enables you to connect your microphone easily to any microphone stand. Secondly, you get the studio length USB cable. This is a high quality USB cable designed to offer the optimal quality for delivering audio from the microphone to your computer. And last but not least is the SL300 USB microphone, your new broadcast grade USB studio condenser microphone. It's beautifully simple and features one USB port. So let's go through the SL300 switches. The low cut switch simply takes out the low end frequency from your microphone. This is usually used with instruments, but of course can be used with vocals too, as it can help reduce rumbles and take out low ends. The pad switch reduces the microphone's output by minus 10 decibels. So if you're recording certain instruments or louder sounds, you may want to make use of this switch. For more information on this and when to use it, please visit our loverecording.com blog. The first thing you'll need to do is to set up your new shock mount. Make sure that all of the elasticated shock bands are joined at their connectors. This prevents any vibrations transferring through to your microphone. If you have a thread adapter inside your shock mount, take out the thread adapter and connect to your microphone stand. This shock mount works with any stand you may own and more on the market with any standardized thread adapter. Next, you'll need to put your microphone into the shock mount. All you need to do is press and release these two catches, then push down onto the microphone until it rests tightly in the cradle. The microphone wants to sit in this position. Next, you'll want to connect the USB cable to your microphone. Simply take the square end of the cable and connect this end to your microphone. And then connect the regular sized end of the cable to any USB port on your Mac or PC. Once connected, the handy blue light should come on to show you that the microphone is working and drawing enough power. Next, we'll need to make sure that your microphone is selected as the input device on your computer. First, go to your Mac's system preferences in the top left of your screen. Click the Apple icon, then System Preferences. In the second row, you'll see the Sound icon. Click this, and once in the Preferences, go over to the Input tab. At the bottom of this list, you'll see your new SL microphone. Select this and then make sure the input level is set around 85%. That's all you need to do to set up your new microphone. Next, you'll need to make sure your new microphone is set up as the default input microphone in your recording program of choice. We're using GarageBand, but most software will work in the same way. Click the program's name in the top left corner and go down to Preferences. Next, go to the Audio Input and make sure the new microphone is selected. And that's it. It's that easy. Happy recording.